Hello, my name is Mackenzie, and today I'll be sharing with you the history of the Queen Mary, some background on the past of this historical ship. So sit back and enjoy while you learn some of the most historical hauntings documented since the 1930s. The Queen Mary is a Cunard White Star Line ship built by John Brown and Company in Clydebin, Scotland. The ship sits at about 1,019 feet, which is almost 136 feet longer than the infamous Titanic. Setting sail in the 1930s as a troop ship during World War II, the Queen Mary, nicknamed the Grey Ghost, due to its color and how it traveled secretly around the ocean, had around 15,000 men. After its retirement in 1967, the ship permanently docked in Long Beach, California. After its final voyage, it stays a hotel for people all over the world to come and visit. Although it may seem like a typical cruise liner, its history and tragedy caused the ship to have many mysteries and oddities, causing hauntings and leaving many guests traumatized. After its opening and becoming a permanent hotel, guests have been visiting and witnessing the horrors and hauntings. The ship has endured at least 41 fatalities while it was a working ship. Among the ghosts that were allegedly reported, there is a haunting of a man who was crushed in one of the doors in the engine room. The 18-year-old, known as John Petter, was accidentally crushed by door 13 on July 10th in 1966. Guests reported hearing voices while walking down the door and sometimes seeing greasy handprints appear on the frame of the watertight door. Another report is of the Lady in White, a woman who stayed on the hotel who never reportedly left. She can be seen in a white gown hanging around the first class lounge. One of the go-to spots while visiting the Queen Mary is the second class swimming pool, now turned theater. A young girl named Jacqueline Torin, more known as Jackie, drowned in the pool around the ages of five or six. People have reported seeing her full apparition in wet footprints around the pool deck and I've even heard the sounds of giggling and splashing water. The most famous of all the hauntings is a room B340. Shows such as Ghost Hunters and Most Haunted have come to stay at the ship in cover footage. According to the official Queen Mary website, claims that someone was knocking on the door in the middle of the night, and other complaints include bathroom lights turning on by themselves, the sink's faucet turning on and off on its own, and unexplained bathroom door shutting. Some guests have reported the covers of their bed being pulled off while they were asleep, and they wake to see a dark figure standing at the foot of the bed. People have left this room bleeding and covered in scratches. If the room wasn't creepy enough, the hotel helps guests enjoy their haunted stay by including real stories from previous guests on the pillars of the walls and providing a Ouija board, tarot cards, and a crystal ball. They also include the instructions to the haunted game Bloody Mary by the bathroom mirror. The room is currently priced at $499 a night, but many guests don't stay long enough to make up for that price as they leave the room in the night scared, terrified, and traumatized. While I may never know the extent of the afterlife, room B340 proved itself to many, causing some to see true evil and ask the questions of the reality of demonic entities and dark forces. Today, I hope you question what you may see and maybe even do your own deep dive into the history of the historic vessel. And while I can't change people's minds on the afterlife, the reports and found footage of the Queen Mary has made many people believers and has made me, myself, a skeptic of the unknown.